In 1999, I was on a just a recreational dive. It was up in Anacapa, and there was a, a lobster trap down there, and this trap was abandoned. They had been in there for at least four months, and they were going to starve to death or get eaten. So I started trying to get them out of the trap, and I wasn't familiar with how to handle lobsters, so I was struggling with it. Some divers saw what I was doing, and they came over and helped me get the, the lobsters out. And when we got to the surface, it was the talk of the boat. And that was the genesis of how I came up with the idea to clean up more of this gear. Hi, I'm Kurt Lieber, president and founder of Ocean Defenders Alliance. Ocean Defenders Alliance removes abandoned commercial fishing gear. Ghost gear continues to kill animals long after it's discarded. This is an example of a squid net. Nothing gets through here, not even a minnow will get through this. And we find pelicans in here, cormorants, and obviously fish and sea lions. We found six dead sea lions in one of these things. When the storms come in and they wash this gear all over the place, it scours the reef and kills everything that can't move out of its way. We have a boat called the Clearwater. It's a 40-foot ex-Coast Guard rescue vessel, and it will handle six divers as well as three or four crew members. One of the things that makes ODA so unique in the world is that our divers are all volunteers. I take great pride in that fact that we utilize the local dive community and get them involved. The divers go down to the bottom and they uh, attach lift bags to the nets and, and the lines. They fill the lift bag with air and then they send it to the surface. One of the highlights always for what we do is when you release a fish. It's not just the diving that is hard, it's removing the nets off of the boat that is difficult. They weigh a lot. Uh, we've had some instances where we've removed nets that have weighed a thousand pounds. You can help us out by obviously making donations, but there's other ways too. If you're a diver, we'd love to have you come out. If you want to be on the boat, come out and help us on the deck. When you make a donation to us, that money goes pretty much directly towards the boat, and that money goes towards making this a better platform for us to remove this gear. One of the most rewarding things about what we're doing is going back to an area where we've been working for sometimes years and going back and seeing huge fish that hadn't been there before we started working on them. I think ODA is a really good investment for people because we're actively doing stuff locally. We're not one organization that has a lot of paid staff, so your money goes directly towards these campaigns. We get out into the schools, the dive clubs, the civic groups, the environmental organizations, and talk about what's going on here. Even if you're inland and you want to help raise money or raise awareness, we'll send you the materials to allow you to talk to people about it, show videos, and hopefully help us raise funds. We need your support. It's very easy to make a donation to us. You just go to our website, there's a link on there that says donate, and you just push the button and there it is.